A movement that won't be stopped by freezing temperatures and a deported leader. Ukraine's opposition marches on. We came here to change the situation in our country, to make authorities work for the people and to support the people. That's why we are here today. They swarmed onto the streets to protest against President Petro Poroshenko and support deported opposition leader Mikhail Saakashvili. They want Poroshenko impeached and a new election. This was the scene one week ago when Saakashvili was seized at a Kiev restaurant. More than a dozen men in military uniforms grabbed the politician and threw him in one of two white vans, then sent him to Poland. The former president of Georgia became Ukrainian in 2014, but soon turned on his friend, President Poroshenko, accusing him of corruption. And this was how it was received. Poroshenko stripped him of his citizenship last year and deported him. Mikhail will remain the leader, says one opposition politician. His support, though, is questioned. His party, the Movement of New Forces, polls at less than 2%. In the Ministry of Internal Affairs, estimated 3,000 people were at the rally. Reporters said it was more like 10,000. Poroshenko publicly ignored the rally. He spent the weekend at the Munich Security Conference. People can't stand it anymore because there's no change. The more time passes, the worse we live. Poroshenko is dancing and having fun relaxing in the Maldives. He is a disgrace to the country. Yitzhakashvili faces similar accusations in his native Georgia. His rivals have charged him with abuse of power. He denies any wrongdoing but relented his citizenship. Now he is stateless. And so his world tour continues. From Georgia to Ukraine to Poland, he's now seeking refuge in the Netherlands, the home of his wife. In Kiev, they say his message will be heard wherever he settles. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.